Is the core of your team coming back next year, and how do you feel about going into next year with the Niners? Yeah, it sure seems like it. That was another one of the uh, the main themes of Kyle's um, exit interview or exit speech to us and him and John Lynch was that he wants to keep this group together. Obviously, we know in the NFL it's, it's pretty much impossible to keep everyone, but they definitely want that core because we feel like we do – we have the recipe for success. You know, we have – a dominant defensive front um, that can makes it tough for any offense to score a lot of points. And then we feel like we have an offense that can really, we can give it to you however you want. You know, we've won games throwing the ball. We won, run, won games just running the ball. And then I know you'll appreciate this. We feel like we have a phenomenal special teams. Yeah. I mean, uh, I I our rookie punter was phenomenal this year. And, you know, Robbie has a long career of, you know, um, great kicking stats so we feel good about that but no i think we really feel good about the crew that we've put together and what we have going forward and i think really john and kyle are just going to add to it in the draft and free agency and yeah, i don't see why we can't be an even better team we're a nationally syndicated uh, sports talk show so we had to talk about the potential of tom brady becoming a niner and jimmy <laughs> g being traded to the patriots that was quickly snuffed out as as completely false so we had to talk about it It was something yeah i I don't i don't see that happening (laughs) (laughs) no but can you tell us about jimmy g as a quarterback whether it's in the huddle or the locker room or what is he like you know because he seems like this guy who's just like tom like very (laughs) calm very cool and if he hits that one deep ball to emmanuel by the way we have all forgotten about the deep ball he hit to george kittle that got screwed over in the first half but he hit if he hits that one deep ball to emmanuel sanders in the second half of the super four fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, it's a completely different conversation happening about Jimmy G right now than it is everywhere else. But what is Jimmy G like as a quarterback, as a leader, as your guy? Yeah, completely different. Like you said, he's probably leaving there as the Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl champs. He's the next Tom Brady. You know, it's going to change that narrative completely. Yeah. Um, but that's football. It, I mean, it really does come down to a couple plays, and we're judged by those plays in critical moments. Um, but the great thing about Jimmy is that I know all the criticism that he's getting right now. It really doesn't affect him. If anything, it just motivates him. He does such a phenomenal job of just blocking out that noise and really just keeping it to what matters to us, to what his teammates think of him, what his coaches think of him, and just how he's able to run this offense. Um, Jimmy has just been, since the, the first day he got there, there's something about him that just – commands respect he has his aura to him uh just the way he carries himself he's just a guy that really puts in the work and someone that we all follow uh really just because of the way he leads and by example uh so jimmy really doesn't have anything to prove to anyone in our facility i know people outside of it still you know question things about him but we have a hundred percent commitment and and belief in jimmy well hello there Utilize the promo code pay the bills and get twenty dollars off your first order from Seeking. Now back to the magic. Most handsome guy you've ever seen? I definitely top top three. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Does he know that you don't does he know that you think he's just top three? Not does he know that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd hope he still take that as a compliment. <laughs> uh, what is the off season workout for you? What is an off season workout for you? Do you do you take a couple months? Do you take like a month off here, let the body recover, and then get back into it, or do you kind of have to do your thing? Yeah, you know what? This is this is a new experience for me. I haven't played into February before, so I'm kind of taking it as we're going. Um, right now, for the month of February, I'm just I'm I'm actually I'm outside my gym right now. As soon as we're done talking, I'm going to go in there. Um, I'm just doing like two or three weeks, two or three days a week right now. Nothing too intense. Just still trying to keep the body moving. Um, I can't just sit on the couch for too long. I I really just start to feel terrible about myself. So I like to keep it moving. But uh, beginning of March is when we'll really start to ramp it back up again. I'll start going three or four days a week and really start throwing the weight on. Starts, you know, my sprints and all that kind of stuff. All right. Well, Kyle, I appreciate the hell out of you, man. You're a great player, dude. You're a lot of fun to watch. Thanks, man. You're not really a fullback, but you're like a running back that they put at fullback. So I respect the fact that you're keeping the fullback name alive and that you're an absolute stud and you're willing to put your nose out there. But your athleticism, you've really transcended the position of fullback, I think. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Uh, again, the, the fullback term 
is kind of, I, it kind of gets used as a double edged sword for me as well. Yeah. You know, if I don't run a good route, oh, he's just a fullback. <laughs> but if I have a crushing block, oh, he's a fullback. You know. So, 